Okay. Uh, now we're going to move on to the uh, door panels. Um, you just want to make sure when you start, grab your door panel remover and take the door panel out. So now that we have the factory door panel off, we're gonna grab our passenger, I mean our driver's side. And what you wanna do is, there's three holes on the door. They actually do come with covers as well, but uh, you can take that off as well with the, door pan uh, with the panel remover. And you wanna grab your pushing rivets, Once you have it held in place by these three uh, pushing rivets, uh, you want to use your self-tapper with the cover. Finish it off. Now we're gonna move uh, to our passenger side. Same thing, uh, these have covers, just make sure you use your door panel remover. And I'm gonna start by removing these uh, door panel. After you remove the buttons and the door panel, uh, we need to take the door handle off. Um, this is two Allen keys. Uh, I use a five and it um, comes right off. The back of the handle, there's a, there's a mechanism. It's just really pulling towards you. And you want to make sure the wire comes right off. And it's easy to grab, so it's okay. You can let, it's not going to fall inside or anything. You'll be able to grab it right after. Now, some clients do like this little net area here, but unfortunately, they're not gonna have it anymore. So make sure they know before you uh, take everything off. Once you're done with the rears, uh, we're just gonna move on and do our sliding door panel. Start by removing the factory wall panel.
Once you uh, get this, put these push-in rivets in, uh, just it could hold it for you. And then you want to go to the top and at least put one screw up there, uh, so it can hold the top part for you, so it doesn't keep falling on top of you. 